Man said. My package got lost in transit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. So for today's video, I will be doing an unboxing of my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Also, I got another phone with this phone, which is the OnePlus 8. I am going to do an unboxing of this phone in a separate video so stay tuned for that i don't want this intro to be very long so what i'm gonna do for you is i'm gonna attach a little backstory for how i got the 11 pro max and the one plus eight at the end of this video and if you're interested in hearing that story please watch all the way to the end oh, let's get down to the unboxing all right guys so this is a box for the 11 pro max and as you can see it has an apple symbol down here iphone on the side apple at the top iphone on the side <laughs> and you got the dress and here's the back of it i got a 64 gb guys this is my first time doing an unboxing of any form of gadget um Please do not come for me if I don't use the right terms while describing this phone. However, you are in for a treat. Now, let's get into opening the package. Alright guys, so the package came with a little damage, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I just want to see what's inside so let's open this up oh it's a bit tight yeah there it is Woo! look at my phone i love it oh my god i love it so much so let's lift this phone out this looks really good it's bigger than my 6s obviously it feels nice the side is very smooth um guys i'm mumbling right now because i really don't know what to say other than i love the way it looks i love the way it feels it's everything so let's set it to the side and go further into the box so let's take this little pocket thing out take out these stuff in it so these are some little fillers welcoming me to the phone saying hello yeah that's some manual it seems and then this thingy is used to insert help with inserting the sim in the phone and this is just some apple stickers which i might use i don't know i might put it on my computer who knows all right so over here we got some headphones which i love but i doubt i will be using since i already have my airpods but you know what it will come in handy let's put it down the charger this is the part you plug into the outlet let's take this wrapper off oh this feels really nice and big well when i search it it's supposed to charge my phone fast I don't know and then my cable to connect the charger to my USB cable to connect the charger to the phone all right and that's it the box empty that's it guys all right so let's take this off <laughs> they said that this is supposed to be satisfying I don't know about that and let's admire the back it's really it feels really good um, the entire screen is black um, what else can I say um, I just love the way it looks I'm gonna go ahead now and just turn this baby on get everything started 
So just sit back and enjoy. So here I am just transferring all the data from my 6S to the 11 Pro Max. All right, guys, so I went ahead off camera and set up Siri and all those good jazz. And now my phone is ready to use. Thank you guys so much for watching the unboxing. Now, if you're interested, remember I have the backstory on my two phones to share with you. So stay tuned. So, how did I come about getting my 11 Pro Max and my OnePlus 8? After recording my first video, which is my Big Chop video, I was talking to a friend and she was basically saying if I want my video qualities to be better what I need to do is purchase a camera so I went on Amazon and I saw the prices for cameras and I'm like wow they are expensive at that time I had a 6s girl why <laughs> Please do not come for me and my 6S. I am not really like the type of girl who goes crazy over new phones or latest gadget and stuff like that, to be honest. I just work with what I have when I can afford it. So my friend came by my job Wednesday of last week and she and I, we were talking about the same video quality and everything and she suggested that I swap in my 6s for a new phone which is the 11 Pro Max he was basically telling me how beautiful the quality was and how it will make my videos look even better I told her to send me the promotion she said that T-Mobile had a promotion where you swap in your 6s or seven or whatever phone you have for a new phone and you can get five hundred dollars off when she sent me the promotion i called t-mobile and i spoke with a representative when speaking with her i asked what was the latest iphone that they had well i've heard about the the 11 pro but I wasn't really familiar with the 11 Pro Max. So she said they had the 11 Pro Max and it is for $1,095. And she said, if I swap in my 6S, I'm gonna get $500 off, which is now $595. And I would get an additional $14 off. So I'm like, that's a great deal. I called my sister because my daddy, my two brothers, my two sisters were on a separate line. So mommy and I were on a line together. When we check it out, it would be cheaper if I transferred mommy's line and mine to their line. So we decided to do that too. While doing that, the lady told us since we are activating two new lines, on T-Mobile, I'm gonna get a second line free. Second line free. So I was like, give it to me, girl. Give it to me, girl. <laughs> give it to me, girl. <laughs> Anyways, we then um, told her to put that in. And then she said, because I'm adding two lines to their existing account, I qualify for half off on another phone. Half off on another phone. So I'm like, it's the most wonderful time of the year. So I'm like, okay, so what other phones um, are offered for this half off? She said, I can get whatever phone, whether Samsung or whatever it is. I told her I wanted another phone with excellent camera quality because as you guys know, as I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to create better quality videos. She said, all right, she told me the different phones that were there and she introduced me to the 
one plus eight and she basically told me okay this phone is an is basically like a new company it's competing with samsung because it and samsung basically offers the same things basically the same video picture quality but in a smaller price for something that is equivalent to a samsung yes Denisha and I were going crazy on the phone. Um, the lady and I discussed adding insurance, paying insurance on my phone and stuff like that. And I said, okay. And she said, I would get a free screen protector and a phone case for each phone. And I'm like, what did you say? A free? She said, free. <laughs> free is my name, guys. Let's do that. Anyways. This is where things got crazy. I, t I gave her my credit card information, started to process the order. He placed us on a brief hold, brief hold. Then she came back and said, unfortunately, their system. Do you have any memory of when you were a child and you were excited about something and someone took it away from you? I was heartbroken, I was sad, but I said, you know what, it's what it is, we can try again another time. She promised me that she would call me back the next day so that we could rectify the situation. Now mind you, if I had completed that order from Wednesday, I would have got my phone by Friday. I'm at home Thursday and I'm, you know moving around awaiting this call i'm waiting 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 he mobile called and i answered and it asked if i wanted to accept my call back press one i pressed one i said hello 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 no answer so i hung up and i called back t-mobile said unfortunately they cannot reconnect me to her but they can check the account to see where she left off and pick up from there lo and behold they picked up the account and there was nothing so me start worrying because me I say me give this woman my credit card information over the phone and no nothing is there so i told the rep everything and he said don't worry he'll take care of me and um they can't store our credit card information and stuff like that so i said good i went back to the process with the guy no this guy wants to take away all those perks well most of the perks that i was going to get so i was like no 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 no. for one he was telling me i will not be able to get free line reason why i ordered the one plus eight was for that new line right now you're telling me i am not going to get that new line i was so pissed i told i told him my mind and he gave me the free line the man put through my order bear in mind people I was told that for paying um, insurance on my phone, I was going to get a screen protector and a phone case. Remember, I was supposed to make this order on Wednesday and I was upset about that and I was, you know, tell the people that my mind. So the guy said, all right, he's going to do one day shipping. So I will still get it on Friday. Fast forward to Friday. Friday, I got up again, looking out for emails for my um, package. Nothing. No, you, you know I'm upset now, right? I called them and I asked them what is happening. They said, don't worry, your order has shipped. All right, my order shipped. It should be there by nine o'clock. Nine o'clock come. No order. Saturday, I, I remember. I think my remember who introduced me to the shop app where I could put my tracking number in and be able to see where UPS is with my package. And when I did that, UPS basically told told me the package will be delivered 
on Monday. So Saturday, Sunday, me now get my package. I waited. Monday, when I got home from work, watching all the UPS bus pass. None of them stopped. Up until nine o'clock, they all went back to their base. So I am pissed. I called T-Mobile and I expressed my concern. The gentleman I spoke with said, <laughs> the man said, my package got lost in transit. No, 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 no. Whew. In your evil hut. Not transit. And now he is going to have to do an investigation for my package before I can get my phones. Woo! Listen, I was upset. I hung up on him rudely and I called T Mobile again because I'm like, this guy. I spoke to another rep. The other rep actually called UPS and UPS told them I should give them until Tuesday because my package is on the way. So my head I was like Idiot man. Boom my package lost. Anyways. So I was very happy when I heard I used the shop app on a Wednesday got a notification that my package was delivered. No, people. Imagine being at work. And your new phone is at home. When I came home, the first thing I am looking for is my packages of my phones. <laughs> They're here. Well, as you can see from the beginning of the video, they are already here. It's the backstory of my of how I got my OnePlus 8 and my 11 Pro Max. But anyways, I have my 11 Pro Max and the quality that you're getting right now is from my 11 Pro Max. Stay tuned for part two of when I will be unboxing my OnePlus 8, I will be giving you my honest review and reaction. Oh guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate you sitting or standing, watching all the way to the end. I know this video is going to be probably about 20 to 25 minutes long i hope it's not that long i will catch you guys in the next one goodbye thank you guys so much for watching my video i have one more favor could you go give me a thumbs up share my video subscribe turn your post notification bell on so you can see my latest videos leave me some lovely comments in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one goodbye